As part of his job with Auburn's Office of Accessibility, Ryan Funderburk shuttles injured and disabled students across campus to class each day. The electric vehicle Funderburk drives is one of several that are plugged into a first-of-its-kind project that taps energy from the sun. 24 panels perched atop the stadium parking deck provide enough energy to power 10 vehicles. The system transforms sun rays into current and feeds it back into the power grid, offsetting the power needed to charge the vehicles. We really want it to be a demonstration of the technology, show how it works, be educational for people, uh, have professors be able to use it to bring classes out to see and understand how it works and see some real life examples of this renewable technology. And then we hope to grow it into bigger systems. The project is a cross-campus collaboration involving facilities management, Office of Sustainability, and the College of Engineering. It's the first grid-tied solar panel system on Auburn's campus and lays the groundwork for larger projects down the road. The panels in this project have been up since April, and a web page available on the facility site gives researchers and the public a way to track the number of kilowatt hours accumulated, plus the daily amount of consumption, all part of the educational component of the project. Mike Kinsler directs Auburn's sustainability efforts and says universities have a responsibility to show the country and the world the way to a sustainable future. The universities, you know, we not only teach existing bodies of knowledge, but we create new bodies of knowledge. And, and our job, really, we have some of the greatest minds around at, at Auburn and other places like Auburn. And so we really should be leading the way in terms of creating the future. We're preparing leaders for the future. So the work that we do here, the way we operate here, should be a model for the way organizations of all types can operate. Solar power is rapidly becoming competitive from an economic perspective as costs associated with technology are reduced. And data from small-scale projects like Auburn's will provide the groundwork for what might be to come in the future. A lot of people are excited about this and other kinds of projects like this. I think Auburn is really well poised. We've got a lot of things bubbling. And so, uh, you know, we're going to look back at this first step as a modest but important first step that's going to lead to big things.